Hi, Mitch Davis here. Today is June 22nd. You know, everybody reads the USA Today, the newspapers. They think the world's a newspaper. That's where the news is. Maybe you're watching the computer, but you know where it's going to be coming pretty soon? Right here. This is a full-page ad in today's USA Today, and you can watch the entire USA Today on your handheld. That's what phones are about, and that's what my concept, U-Phone, is all about. And U-Phone talks about the basic idea of will we be creating our own wireless networks and letting people log in to our own computers and then we become our own little telegraph, telegram and telegraph companies for the network we're in. You know, I, I read this one twist. It's a, it's a, a thread at itoolbox.com and it's a great site, itoolbox.com and there's a thread that talks about wireless web servers. So think about this. What if you and your office have a wireless internet server and anybody can log in from their computers? Pretty logical, right, in your office. Well, when was the last time you stood and watched everybody at a public event, a speech, and then a speaker stood up and said, well, here's my PowerPoint, here's all this great information, and here's the handout. Well, what if when the speaker stood up and began talking, the speaker said, and by the way, if you have your laptops with you, just turn it on and dial into my network because I'm hosting a wireless web network right here in this room. And you can log in and download the PowerPoint, download the extra topics, look at everything I'm talking about right here while I'm making the speech because I've created a wireless environment right here in the room. And yeah, this thread talks about using a D-Link DWL 6 G700 AP wireless access point IIS set up and there's some firewall issues. But come back to this page soon because we're going to show you how to plug a card into your PC, dial into the Sprint network or the Verizon network, bring the signal down to your PC, open up a wireless link around your computer so that people watching you can listen in and listen and download your speech while you're making the speech. That's the first level. Now, there might be some laws about bringing down the signal at the same time you broadcast the signal. And you may have to turn off your download based on the license from Verizon or Sprint or T-Mobile when you're opening up your wireless and we can log into you. But that's okay because if you're there at the front of the room, you want people logging into you, not the internet, right? So you can host everything, your website, your content, so everybody in the room can log into your laptop while you're making the presentation. Think about that. Now, here's the next thing that's coming. And here's the magazine, buy this at the airport. You know, if you don't subscribe to Business 2.0, and here it is, the top 50 people who matter now, and every issue they do a, what's next? The top 10 products, ideas, and trends. And this is their uh, July 2000 issue. And the top 10 trend, yeah, it looks like that start of that RKO radio picture. Right, you, you, see the, you see the antenna there, and the antenna comes along, and the whole world there. This is WiMAX. WiMAX will follow Wi-Fi. Sprint is bringing WiMAX into Baltimore, Chicago, and Washington, D.C. It'll cover the entire city. Anybody will be able to log in to the WiMAX, which will be a much wider format of getting the wireless signal. So you won't need the card going to the telephone signal. you get it there. So those three cities by the end of the year, there's already going on in South Korea. So that signals in more places. Now think of yourself a second. We just talked about this question of the guy in the room at the podium giving the speech, broadcasting his Wi-Fi to the audience, right? Now, what happens when he's able to take that signal more places, and he can take that signal on the train, on the plane? You know, I saw this ad, I saw this ad that AT&T Wireless did uh, during, during the AFI Top 100 Movies. I said, everybody's wireless. They showed the ad of people sitting on the plane with their wireless devices. Well, what's the first thing they tell you on the plane? Shut off your wireless devices. What happens when the guy in 17C turns on his laptop, turns on his wireless device, and starts hosting from his computer stuff about the destination city? Or, or God forbid, hosts a gambling site. You know, he could open his own little casino right there on the plane, and all the people in the, in the rest of the cabin would be turning on their computers, sniffing wireless, they'd find this casino, and he'd be making money while he's flying on the plane by opening an online casino. 
you know, and, and will the airlines figure this out? No, the airlines are stuck in this draconian George Bush situation where they're worried about having gambling equipment on the plane. All these foreign airlines are worried about gambling equipment on the plane. Well, if you just have Wi-Fi on the plane, you, you can have gambling on the plane. That's what this is about. Wi-Fi will empower, but the question isn't just who's going to empower the Wi-Fi. Anybody can empower the Wi-Fi because anybody can open up a wireless telephone company. Hell, people will even be putting out wireless ISDN pretty soon, and people will be walking by and they'll be sniffing with your with, with your with your computer, and you'll see wireless ISDN available. If you'll do teleconferencing off the wireless ISDN, so people can see you, that's the future. Anybody can open a telephone company. And, you know, read that 2600 magazine. At, uh, go find that at www.2600.com. You get a whole bunch of ideas about how the world's going to change when anybody can be a telephone company. Come back and see mine soon at Uphone, because we're going to empower anybody to log into us, create the signal, bring it into themselves, and that's my trademark. Y-O-U phone in English and U phone for Espanol. So anybody can log in. Because think how many communities there are, even immigrant communities, where if somebody just had one computer, and that one computer had a connection to a satellite, connection to the Internet, they could host Internet for the rest of their town. You know, the, 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 you see this in the African village. One person has the Internet connection, and they sell it, and people come play with the computer. There are a lot of places where this Internet is going to go to. And it was 2007 for, y, for WiMAX in Baltimore, Chicago, and Washington. It's going to be a lot more markets pretty soon. But there'll be two, three, five years where people are reselling, reinfigurating the reach of WiMAX and Wi-Fi. WiMAX is the big level. Wi-Fi is two, three hundred feet. And, you know, it, it's in Shanghai. The water carrier brings, brings little water buckets on the, on, the, on, on, on the motorcycle around in different places to serve water. Well, what happens in, in the undeveloped country when that same guy with the motorcycle Puts, puts his little, little little backpack on and he's got wireless there and he, and he rides it into the village and for two hours he hosts wireless for everybody within within a 300 foot range and they can make their phone calls, they can make their communication and he rides out. There'll be a whole new level of communication and internet when people create their own wireless telephone companies. Come back, visit more next week. Thank you.